Google My Business is an essential tool for any local business and when your Google My Business listing is properly optimized and maintained, you will notice a significant increase in foot traffic, website traffic, phone calls and ultimately more leads and sales. Hey there, my name's Stuart, thanks for joining me today. In this Google My Business tutorial, I'm going to take you through 7 actionable tips that you can act on today to maximize your Google My Business listing in 2020. Now the great thing about your Google My Business listing is you do not need to be an online expert of any kind to create significant results for your business from your Google My Business listing. Many of these essential tips and activities that we're going to cover today can be acted on by anyone to drive more leads, sales and results from your Google My Business listing. Now just quickly before we get started and if you're new here today, consider subscribing to stay updated with actionable small business tutorials just like this one. And with that said, let's jump into Google Google My Business and maximize your results. All right, now the first tip that we want to cover today is the most important tip when it comes to optimizing your Google My Business for max exposure. And this tip is all about optimizing your Google My Business for keywords. Now, not too long ago, Moz, which is a well-known company in the digital marketing space, discovered that Google My Business Signals is the number one factor for Google My Business rankings. So what does this mean, adding keywords and optimizing keywords? Well, what you want to do is make sure that your profile, your Google My Business profile, is keyword dense. So let's head back to our Google My Business dashboard. And here, what you want to do is navigate down on the left-hand side and click Info. And here, we want to optimize this information with keywords that are relevant to our business. Now, if you're not too sure what keywords are, well, think about your business. What services or products do you provide? What market are you in? What are some keywords that people are going to be typing in to find your products or your services? Those are identified as keywords. So as you can see in our business name, we've got web design, which is a keyword, digital marketing, which is a keyword, and also digital marketing taringa, which is a longer keyword variation because it has a keyword that people type in to find our service. And then it has the local area where we operate. So that's identified as a keyword. Now what you want to do is go through your profile and make sure firstly that all your information is correct. Make sure that all these different elements here are 100% complete. Then what you want to do is start up at the top and navigate your way down and add those important keywords. Now if you're not too sure about the keywords that you want to add into your Google My Business profile, then what you can do is head over to Uber Suggest which is a really easy to use keyword research tool. Now all you need to do is head down to this bar under Uber Suggest and type in your domain name. So this could be your website URL or a keyword that you think people type in to find your business. So for example, if you're in roofing and you operate in New York, then what I'm going to type in here is a combination of the two. I'm going to type in roofing New York. Now this is just for the purpose of this tutorial, but if I type in Roofing New York and say I provide roofing services and repairs in New York City, then I want to type that in and come across here and click search. Then what Uber Suggest is going to do is it's going to provide some basic information surrounding that particular keyword as well as giving us some ideas. So as you can see, this particular keyword, Roofing New York, is searched 480 times per month. It has an SEO difficulty of 22, paid difficulty 28, and a cost per click if people were to advertise and target this particular keyword. Then we can come down here and this is the important section. This is where we can gather keyword ideas related to Roofing New York. So as you can see we've got Roofing New York here, then we've got other ideas. We've got Roofing, all these other locations, Roofing Contractors, Roofing Contractors in New York. So these are searches being done on a monthly basis to find my services or find these roofing services. So think about the services and the products that you provide, add your keyword in Uber Suggest, and then come down here and find some keyword ideas that you can use. Then once you've got a list of those keywords, what you wanna do is head back to your profile, and then come down here and make sure that your Google My Business profile relates to those keywords. So for example, as you can see, our title name has keywords. That's because we've made sure that 
our business name all across the internet with citations on social media is called Cindio Web Design and Digital Marketing Taringa because we want our website, we want our Google My Business listing, we want customers to find our business online when they search these particular keywords, Web Design Taringa, Web Design, Digital Marketing Taringa or Digital Marketing. So make sure you have keywords in your title if your business name does have those keywords. So if you're a new business and you're thinking of a name to create, then think about the business, the industry that you're in, and the location, if you're a local business, the location you provide your services or products to. Try and combine the two with keywords and your location and create a business name with that. Now, if you don't have a keyword in your business name, that's completely fine, but this will help. Um, but you do, again, have to be careful. If you don't have keywords in your business name, then Google can can give you a strike. So make sure you create your business name with keywords and then you can add keywords in here. If it doesn't, that's completely fine. Just add your normal business name here and we'll head down to the next option. So keywords in the title is one. Then we want to make sure our category is correct. But then we also want to navigate down to products or services. So if you provide products, then add your products here and you want to also embed those keywords. So for Cindio Web Design and Digital Marketing Taringa, we provide digital marketing services. So I'm going to come down here and click on our services. And as you can see, we've got keywords added into this service category. So we've got web design, which is a keyword, uh, website, media packages, digital master, uh, digital development. Then each of these services have a brief description. And again, we've added keywords like website, design website, um, what else do we have? E-commerce websites, uh, website masterpiece, uh, again down here, we've got website packages, digital marketing, and other keywords within our service descriptions. Now make sure you add those keywords in your service categories, make sure you embed it in your descriptions, and this is gonna help your Google My Business listing rank higher for these particular keywords. So keyword density within your profile is extremely important. Then where else can we add these keywords? Well, if we head back to information, we've talked about the business name, we've talked about services, you can also come down here and you can add a description. So if we click on our description, and as you can see, we've created a quick description within 750 characters and we've added keywords. So we've added our location, we've added digital marketing, web design, and we've got other keywords in here. So make sure you bulk up your about us, make sure you use as many characters as you can and add your keywords in your about us description and make sure it makes sense make sure that it flows, then this sends signals to Google and shows Google what your business is all about. Then once you've added keywords to your business description, come down here and click apply or cancel. And then we wanna navigate over to the left hand side and come over to photos. Now, as you can see, we've got our photos here. Now, what you wanna do is when you upload a photo, so for example, if I click upload, when you upload a photo, you wanna make sure that your image is named. Make sure your image is named with keywords. Again, this is gonna send signals to Google. So if I come down here and click select photos and say I come down here and click on this image here, as you can see, I've got digital marketing towering it and that's a keyword I wanna show up for. And as you can see, I've just added an image with the name digital marketing towering it. So basically when you upload an image, make sure that the name has keywords in the title. Now the last place you can add keywords is under posts. So if we head over to the left hand side and click posts, here what you can do is actually create posts. So updates about your business in regards to, could be uh, you know the current situation at hand. You could add an offer, add an update, add event, add products. So offers, what's new, and events. So this just updates people online. If they come across your listing, they can see what's going on in your business. Now posts are great because it shows Google that you're active, it shows that new things are happening in your business. But what we wanna talk about is embedding your posts with keywords. So as you can see, one of the recent posts we've created has keywords, we've got digital marketing for small business, Facebook, Facebook shops, Facebook store. So make sure that your posts have keywords. As you can see, web design, we've got our name down here, Cindio Web Design and Digital Marketing Taringa. So again, with each post, which we'll go into more detail in another tip, 
So to quickly summarize tip one, which is to optimize your Google My Business for keywords, is to add keywords to your title, add keywords within your About Us, add them to your services section of your Google My Business and also add them to the name of your image before you upload that image onto Google My Business. And the last thing we've just talked about is your Google My Business posts. The second tip to optimizing your Google My Business for maximum exposure online is to ensure consistency across the internet. So if we head back over to Moz, we can see that NAP, NAP consistency, keywords and titles, these are extremely important when it comes to ranking your Google My Business listing. So what do I mean by ensuring consistency across the internet? Well, this basically means you want to build citations and you want to make sure that they're consistent. So for example, if we head over to Whitespark, here at Whitespark, what we can do is we can find our top 20 citations in our particular country. So for example, I operate in New Zealand, I can see the top 20 citations in my country. Now when you head over here and you identify your country and the top 20 citations for your country, these are the citations you want to create consistency on. So NAP is name, address and phone number. You want to create consistency in terms of your business name, your business address and your business phone number. So when you sign up to all these different citations, make sure that your Google My Business, your name, your address and your phone number is consistent across all of these 20 citations. Now the more local citations you can build, the better your Google My Business is going to rank and this is a really important element. So building consistency across the internet with your website, with your citations, with your Google My Business, make sure everything is correct and make sure your NAP, your name, address and phone number is correct across your citations, website and Google My Business. As you can see, Google My Business is the number one business citation. So make sure you have consistency across the internet. The third tip we want to cover today is consistently adding images to your Google My Business listing. Now as you can see here, businesses with photos receive 42% more requests for driving directions to their location from users on Google and 35% more clicks through to the website than businesses that don't have photos. So for example, if we head over to our Google My Business listing and we navigate over to photos, and this is where we can add images. Now, if you have the app on your phone, the Google My Business app, you can actually take photos from your phone and upload them directly through the app. And this is powerful because when you take a photo with your phone, that image will be geotagged and Google wants to see where that photo was taken. Is it a photo that's been taken locally or has it just been downloaded off the internet? If you have geotags on your image, this gives your listing, your photo more authority and Google will rank you higher over other listings if you have geotags on your images. Now, if you don't take an image with your phone and you upload it from the internet like we have done here, then what you want to do before you upload the image is head over to geotag photo which is tool.geoingr.com and this is where you can upload images and geotag those images and once you've done that you've geotagged your specific location say for example I operate in Tauranga New Zealand then I want to geotag Tauranga New Zealand on these photos you can head back to your Google My Business listing and you can upload those images now your images must be at least 720 by 720 pixels JPEG or PNG. So make sure you're consistent in uploading your images. Remember to geotag them if you haven't taken them from your phone and you've just downloaded them from the internet. So make sure they have that geotag on that image. And this will help optimize your listing. So consistently add images and if you can, make sure you geotag those images. Okay, now the fourth tip that we want to cover today is asking for reviews and replying. Now if we head back over to Moz, as you can see, review signals are very important when it comes to Google My Business ranking. So if we head over to our Google My Business listing and navigate down to reviews, this is where we can see and reply to reviews. If you navigate over here, we can see comments that we haven't yet replied to. Now if you have the app on your phone, again you can easily reply to comments through your phone, through the app, and you want to make it extremely important to ask your customers, your recent customers, for reviews. Now what you can do is actually head back to home, 
and navigate down to share review form. If I click here, here what you can actually do is copy this link. As you can see, I've clicked it and the link has been copied and you can send this via Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter. You can share it via email. You can send it directly by text. You can send this link to your customers, your recent customers, and they can click on the link and leave a review on your listing. You can also do the same on mobile. You have access to this link that you can directly send to your clients, your customers. So with your most recent customers, make sure that you send this review link, ask them to leave a review and reply to those reviews. And what you will notice is as you get more reviews, your review signals will increase, meaning your Google My Business listing will start ranking higher in search. And this is ultimately going to increase your online exposure. Okay, now the fifth tip that we want to talk about today to optimize your Google My Business listing is to post updates frequently. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, what you need to do is just head over to your Google My Business dashboard and navigate down to posts. Click on posts and here we are on posts. Now, with posts, what you can do is you can add updates, you can add an offer, you can add events, you can add products, you can add information about your business. Now, you want to do this on a regular basis and this just shows Google that you're an active business, that you're always using Google My Business, which is a Google product, and Google loves it when you use their product on a regular basis. So make sure you continue using posts, you add updates about your business, so that when customers try and find your brand, your business, your services or products, they can see updates about your business. So creating consistent posts is going to show Google that you're an active business, it's going to build up your authority and it's going to help you rank higher on Google search. So be consistent in adding as many posts as you can during the week. Okay, now the sixth tip to optimize your Google My Business listing for maximum exposure is to connect your Google My Business and Google Ads account together. Now what this allows you to do is connect your Google Ads with an extension called Location Extension. Now when you do that, when you link both accounts together, what you can do is actually create this ad here and that's going to allow your Google My Business listing to appear on the top three spots of the snack pack, the Google My Business snack pack and the top spot here will generate the majority of clicks calls leads directions website traffic so it's a great way to pay to get your Google my business listing to the top of the triple pack or the snack pack listing as you can see here so as you can see here this advertiser has a location extension connected to their ad meaning that they pop up on the first page of Google under the snack pack. Now you can do the same, it's quite straightforward. What I'll do is I'll pop a link up above which will show you how to connect your Google My Business account and your Google Ads account together so you can achieve the location extension and generate more exposure on the first page of Google. And the final tip that we want to cover today to optimize your Google My Business listing in 2020 is to focus on social signals and engagement. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, think about all the different social media, the different channels that is connected to your website. So you have your Google My Business listing that's connected to your website. You also have maybe your social media page, so your business page. Again, you have blog posts on your website and then maybe you have a LinkedIn company page. So basically what you want to do is think about the social signals. So when you have engagement on your Facebook, on your LinkedIn, uh, on your website, they're all sending signals to each other. So for example, with Facebook, if I created a post and I tagged my website in it, then that's going to send signals to my website showing Google that, look, they're getting quite a lot of engagement on Facebook. That's sending signals to Google, telling Google that there's quite a lot of engagement on Facebook. People are active in liking, engaging, commenting, on this particular post, they must be quite active. The same is with your LinkedIn. The more comments, the more engagement you get on posts that link directly to your website or even to your Google My Business, that's going to help your Google My Business rank, that's going to help your website rank. And they all work together in harmony. And then also go back to your Google My Business account, head over to your posts and make sure you're linking back to your website with particular posts. So remember each post has a call to action 
and you can send traffic directly to different website pages or you can send them to social media. You can also have links in your posts. So think about your Google My Business, your social media website as one giant network and Google will receive those signals from each of the different platforms, the different channels, the different social networks and that's going to help your Google My Business listing rank higher on search. So to finish off tip seven, focus on social signals. Think about the engagement. Think about the connections between all your social media, all your different online channels, your website, your Google My Business, your citations, uh, your social channels like I've just said. And think about increasing that engagement on all those channels. And that's ultimately going to give Google that social proof, which will ultimately give your business online authority and help drive more traffic, leads and ultimately sales through to your business. And there we have it, that is it for today's Google My Business tutorial. Now I hope you act on each of the nine tips that we covered today. And if you have any questions about Google My Business, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And with that said, thank you for watching. If you got value from this video, then please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and we will see you in the next video. Take care.